<clears throat> How long from Penn State? Um, eight. Was it over eight? eight? Half hours. I think eight wow. Half. Yeah. You're, are you live? I am. And people? Yep. Hey, we're trying to reach the folks who are waiting for us at Keene State. First, I want to just tell you, we are trying to responsibly get there as quickly as we can. Um, it looks like we are uh, around 10 minutes away, so we should be there very soon. And wanted to thank you for your patience and for coming out. And so we asked uh, one of the folks who's organizing this event tonight just to let you know that we're on live stream and that we're going to be there soon. And if it were light out, we could kind of show you where we are, but it's, uh, it's all dark to me right now. Um, but thank you for coming out. It's been a, a great but long day. We started this drive uh, in central Pennsylvania eight plus hours ago. And we've really been on the road ever since through Pennsylvania and New York and Massachusetts. Now we're in New Hampshire and we're really looking forward to seeing you. And I'm gonna to try to be brief in my opening remarks so I give you as much time as possible to share your thoughts, ask your questions, and hopefully we'll just really have a great conversation. So appreciate everyone who's out there, appreciate your patience, and just know that we'll be there soon. When we, um, I think when originally it shook, it looked like it was seven and a half hours, but it seems like it's just taken yeah. a lot longer. Well, you got to factor in some bathroom breaks, yep. picking up a sandwich, New York up, traffic. Have to guess up. Yeah, that's right. Getting slightly lost when I was looking for the gas station in Massachusetts. Um, but we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. We're, if you think about it, we're day, is this day six? Today is six. It's day six of the campaign, and so this is one of the longest, in fact, this is the longest drive of the campaign so far, eight hours on the road. Um, and so there's still some kinks to work out. Yeah. Well, next time, we'll make sure we factor that in. Yeah. <laughs> we just have to ask the campaign team to give us uh, time for, for a bathroom yes. and some coffee. Just a little bit. No, they, they are doing a great job. Um, it's just a, a, a long distance. But we're looking forward to seeing you. This is our first event in New Hampshire. We just crossed over into New Hampshire just a little while ago. We're really excited. We're going to spend the next two days after today in the state going to every single county. And I hope getting a chance to meet everyone who's watching right now, who's in the state, who would like to be part of this uh, Regardless of your support or if you're supporting somebody else, doesn't matter. Come out and give us a chance to say hello and to answer your question or to hear what's on your mind. I don't know if there are any questions coming in from the folks there. You know what? I, um, or are we see. not? I'm using this to um, Somebody's asking about your health care policy. So I, I start with the goal that we're all trying to get to, which is guaranteed, high quality, universal health care. And I begin with guaranteed because there are too many in this country who have insurance, but are not guaranteed care. In other words, you, you may be insured, but you may have a copay that makes your medication unaffordable. You may have a deductible that's not bridgeable. You may have premiums that you are no longer able to pay. So it's got to be guaranteed. You, you got to be able to count on the fact that you get that care when you need it, when your child needs it, when that member of your family needs it. It's got to be universal. That means all of us without exception can receive that care. And it's got to be high quality. You got to make sure that you are well enough to achieve your full potential. And that health care has to mean primary health care. That has to mean mental health care in a lot of places. And Texas is an example. Uh, your best option for mental health care might be the county jail. And in Texas, the largest provider of mental health care services is the county jail system. Um, not a good way to take care of our fellow Americans. 
and a really expensive way to take care of our fellow Americans. And so for a fraction of the cost with much better outcomes uh, and, and much better uh, effectiveness for tax dollars spent, we can invest in preventative and continuous care for those in our communities. So <clears throat> that's the goal. Um, I think it's gonna involve uh, all of this country coming together around that goal. One of the ideas that I like a lot that was proposed by uh, Rosa DeLauro, who uh, represents a district not too far from where we are in the scope of the United States in Connecticut, in Jan Schakowsky in Illinois is called Medicare for America. If you have employer-based insurance and you like it, you like your network, uh, you like your doctors, then keep it. If you don't like your employer-based insurance or you're not insured at all, um, let's get you enrolled in Medicare. And then let's invest in Medicare so that it becomes the program of choice and people choose over time. A Congress that looks like and, and reflects the true genius of this country. So I know that some people will come down on this question uh, differently, uh, and I think there are you know legitimate reasons to oppose term limits. I just happen to believe in them, have always held myself to them, um, and I, I think they could be part, they won't be the solution, part of fixing our democracy and ensuring that it works for and reflects and represents everyone. What's our update on the time, Beto? Our ETA is four minutes from now. Four minutes. So we are very close. Almost there. Yeah, we're really close. Thank you all for your patience. Sorry we're arriving a little bit late, but we're also really excited to see you and we'll make the most of this meeting. And for anyone who would, and sometimes um, when, when we get together, uh, someone will want to take a picture or say hello. Uh, I'll make sure that we stick around to do that as well for, for anyone who's interested. Excited to come to Keene State. Owls? Yeah. Owls, can you make the owl? Ooh, ooh. I don't know how they, how they do it at Keene State. They'll, they'll, yeah. They will show they'll us. Teach us. They'll teach us. I love owls. <laughs> Very close. And this, the directions are supposed to take us right to our parking spot. On this uh, Yeah, Chris this put device. it in, and we're supposed to be able to go. Right, right Chris? Yep. Okay. There right. we go. All right. Three minutes away. Three minutes. Almost there, guys. There we go. Two minutes. Just changed to two. Chris, 
this you're not going to put a jacket on? Oh, I have it right here. Okay. So today, um, just starting out with what we had to eat. Banana, ice cream. Um, coffee? Coffee. Drink some coffee. Um, we had a sandwich. We then oh, had then another banana. Some um, nuts. Some nuts. And at some point, we got to see what's open for dinner after this. Yeah, I maybe, maybe just maybe just eat. Yeah. Um, Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, there was that. Maybe just eat some uh, a protein bar on the way in. Yeah, well, for some options. <clears throat> Right. right now. You know what? Sorry, that uh, 